G'day YouTube. This video will show you guys how to run and install the GNOME desktop environment, also known as the GNOME 3 Plus environment. Now, it's uh, one of the big contenders these days for Linux Mint, so, or should I say just Linux in general. It's, uh, most of the time you'll find that Cinnamon, as you can see at the moment, is installed on Linux Mint. Ubuntu has its own flavor that's called Unity, and Fedora 23, the cutting edge stuff, actually does run the, the GNOME desktop environment. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll stop yappering away and I'll get into showing you guys how to do it. Just to let you guys know though, uh, it is a little bit more in-depth than your typical desktop environment installation, so uh, make sure to back up your stuff and uh, yeah we've just got to add extra repositories and things like that so uh, always good a uh, little bit of a disclaimer there so starting off what we first need to do is open up a terminal and start adding the repository now let me just see if I can remember that sudo no I really can't it's up the top here <laughs> so just have a look at the there we go have a look at the description down below. So I'll show you there's uh, three or four steps. Uh, step one, type in sudo add apt repository, gnome3, team, gnome3, just hit enter on that. Throw in your password and just go for that. Now it should uh, take a minute to find and add the repository and when it does it'll ask you to click enter as you can see there. So I'm just going to tap enter on my keyboard. And there we go. So now the repository is added. Uh, step two would be to just update and upgrade your repository. So type in the following, sudo apt update colon or semicolon sudo apt upgrade. Now that's step two and that will also be down in the description below. A little bit slow to do that. And uh, when that's done, the pretty much the third and final step for the installation process is to install a bunch of packages. There's about five or six in total, uh, as you can also probably see and have probably skipped ahead in the uh, description below to have a look at and install. But uh, I'll just do that now if you guys are still listening. Once this is done... A little bit slow. painfully slow. Okay, and last but not least, the last command to type in there is hanging around here on my machine. Here we go, sudo apt, you know what, there's an even better way to do this. Clear the screen, make it just a bit easier for everyone to see. It's hanging around here somewhere. There we go. sudo apt install gdm, the gnome shell, gnome shell extensions, gnome tweak tool, gnome contacts and gnome control center. So that five or six all up there. Hit enter, install. Now this might take a little bit of a moment so I'll uh, pause the video then I'll come back. And uh, if you do or when you do actually install gdm which I have installed it before so I may not get this option but it will ask you to select between the gdm and the ldm uh, environment. Of course one stands for gnome, the other stands for uh, Linux Mint. So you'll need to uh, You'll need to definitely select GDM when that option comes up, and I'm not sure if it's going to come up now for me or not because I have installed it previously. But just a word of warning there for you guys. Wow, really, really long video. Looking good. I'll pause. See you guys in a second. <laughs> Okay guys, as you can see, that is all done. So, all we need to do from that point is close that down, log out, choose the new desktop environment of GNOME, log in, and Bob's your uncle. So, let's do that now. There should be a little symbol or a gear icon here that you can use. So, I'm just going to click on my name. And here's the gear icon. And we want to select GNOME, not to be confused with GNOME Classic, which I have uh, previously installed. GNOME, and here we go. Just throw in your password. Might take a half second to load up. Great, and there we go. It doesn't look much different. Just at a glance. Got same wallpaper, of course. Activities. Shows your launcher there. 
and launch it here too. Multi window, all of that. So that's pretty much it, guys, in a nutshell. Not really a review on this, but uh, just to quickly show you guys how to install it uh, and run. So it's uh, yeah, fairly fairly decent little kitted out desktop environment. Uh, see if you guys like it. If not, you can always switch back to the old cinnamon, just the way that I showed you before with logging out, logging back in. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. As I said before, make sure to back up before you do things like this. Uh, big undertakings. But uh, cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I hope that this has been of some help for you.